Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Berseria. So we had a pretty exciting event happen over there where we got some data stolen from, well, not from us particularly, but Zavid did. And I'm kind of wondering if that's going to come back and bite us later. I'm pretty sure it is. They're going to reverse engineer some super cool gun that we don't have access to. So what's our objective? Return to Von Eltia. So we can't go this way then? No, we can't. Okay. Alright. Let's just trudge our way back over that way. It's a long enough distance. I feel like there might be something along the way. We'll see. I thought there I you smelled go. someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all, but do you know anything else about it, Rokoro? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits and... kablooey. Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. I could see the Abbey getting really, really strong demons for us to fight by just shooting it at their own Malakim. And then we'll feel justified in killing them because they're demons. Um, Laffy said? May I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like vel- uh, Shh. What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on now. Like, a wife he wants to leave but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is a daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name, perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. <laughs> They're making a whole story they here. only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. Right. They'll make up whole stories where there isn't a... Maybe the side quest is finally over. Now what are we gonna do? What's wrong? This dog came up with a book in its mouth. Here, take a look. Huh. It looks pretty old. I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology, so maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn, 
Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. But I just get, like, a quest? Better get something for it. Fidel is the innkeeper's kid. He's so smart he's practically a genius. We want to deliver a book, but our mama worry. Can you tell Videl we said sorry? It's like an unofficial side quest we've got here. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Hands oh, off the book, book is kid! Super important to me! Thank you! Uh... I'm Lafisette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Melio Dossian's script? You recognize Melio Dossian writing? That's unusual in this You're like six-year-old kids. Oh, it's not or that ten year old deal, kids. really. Why do they know this writing? When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the Age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. <laughs> I know! Look at those two. All worked up over an old fuck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. Oh, I forgot. I have to hate everything. We received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're on to us. Quickly, hide in my house. Nice job, kid. That's how we ate the kid. Can't let him talk. Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Oh, man. That's like treason against the family. Good job, kid. Probably going to be burned at the stake or something. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry. I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend, too. Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Just bringing me my book oh, was please, payment enough. Think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? I don't know about this. I don't know about this. The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian's script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Videl. Laffy used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Laffy said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay.
All right. I just wondered how the heck this kid learned learned how to read this. And he sounds an awful lot like Saray, doesn't he? Oh, I want to explore ancient ruins. Saray's great, 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 great grandfather. I have no idea how much time is between the two games, but I imagine it's not like 10 years later or anything like that. It's probably an awful lot long later. Oh, I don't know about this. I see praetors all over the place. We might have to beat them up. This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck, and before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too, but these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary, I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate do by stuff? <laughs> I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy. An estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So... Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas in far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class 4 administrative zones? I've heard of 10 such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. Ooh, I want to go to a Class 4 administrative zone. That sounds dangerous. The island was so swampy, my mind was like mud. I'm still feeling bogged down by all that mire. Yeah, let's go to the dangerous Class 4 administrative zone. That sounds good. Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warwick Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. You know, I was thinking like, oh, maybe there's more demons to fight. And then I thought again, no, they're probably referring to us. Because <laughs> we did kind of go on a rampage against some exorcists that were there. These exorcists need to work hard, so let's fill their bellies with the sea's bounty. We'll give them yellowtail, bullhead, and kingfish. And puffer, and stonefish, and blue ringed octopus. Is it a blue ringed octopus, like, especially poisonous? I think I should become an exorcist. All you have to do is order Malakim to fight, right? Yeah, I'm good at teaching dog tricks. Yeah, this is a great idea. It's gonna go swimmingly. 
first mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Aizen! E you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> and you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir! And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the Pirate's Creed, huh? There's worse out there. <sighs> What's that? You don't want to go to a level four administrative island? Well, that's too bad. Tile is one thing, but Kurogane too? If he fail if he falls, he'll drown. Ha! What's his haul him back in? Looks like he's having a good time. Ah, even without a face you can tell. Oh, yeah, he's sitting over there at the end of a uh, the the pokey thing. I'm guessing that's like the ramming head or something. The Salatoma worked! Everyone is ship shape. We won't forget the favor you did us here. Crew is back and meaner than ever. To you salt we sail. Oh man. I want to go fight some slime. So now we have the ability to choose where we want to go. So that's where we go for story wise. That's where we came from, from Islegand. And that's where we're at right now. And I guess we can't go anywhere else. Oh, that's tempting. I was told also as well that uh, the little in-game island thing that I went and visited, whatever that was, is apparently still in the game here. Alright, let's go to class 4 zone. It's gonna be good. We're gonna get sludged. Brilliant quarter. Let's save in case it really is bad. That doesn't look bad. Oh, that, that looks evil. Is a fighting arena of some sort? I don't see any demons around. Look! There's something spewing out of the middle! I sense a really malicious force emanating from it. It's probably the vengeful spirits of those who fought and died here looking for glory! Oh. Thanks for that. Now I've got goosebumps. Let's try not to wind up as more vengeful spirits. It might actually be an arena. I didn't think about that. I wonder if there's stuff around the area. Like, you can run all the way back there, as far as I can tell. But it doesn't say there's any chests, so... Oh, there's a cat's chest. I doubt I have enough things to open it. Alright, let's see. Here you can battle waves of specific demons. Okay. Allows you to perform different arts by pressing attack while guarding. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Looks like we won't be joining the party. I can see why this place is the stuff of cautionary bedtime stories. Not to mention why the Abbey's keeping way the hell away. We shouldn't let our guard down. But this place could still be a good chance to hone our combat skills. Indeed. Most everything we've fought here seems to follow a pattern. This is a good place for tactical training. If we ever end up on another island like this one, 
We should probably come prepared for the kinds of enemies we'll face. So did the Abbey purposefully set up a giant evil arena just for such an occasion? First time you clear the challenge, you receive a reward. So maybe this is like easy arena and there's multiple arenas. That would make sense now that I think about it. Yeah, because they got it decorated with slimes. The least threatening of all the enemy types. Or maybe you'd go through it again and then it gets harder as we go. I don't know. It's too bad that wasn't the real I freed. But I'm glad everyone on the ship is feeling better. Yeah. Though it sounds like they never want to touch that Salatoma stuff ever again. <laughs> what about Eleanor? She took it too. And her face went all... Wah! I don't mean how she looked. I mean how she actually feels. Oh. Well, she looks like she feels better too. Good. You're worried about her, aren't you, Velvet? No. Get back. Like that. Let me tell you something, kiddo. When young maidens ripen, they have trouble expressing their feelings. So Velvet's... ripen? Mogilu! Quit giving Loppy set confusing thoughts! <laughs> no trouble expressing those feelings, I see. is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. So I told you now, she's going to come everything to our side. Everything Abby does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. You are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh, uh... Something wrong? Whoa! Easy there. Just asking. S sorry I was just deep in thought. Is there something you need from me? Nah. Just heard a bunch of sighs and wondered if you were feeling sick or anything. No, I drank my Salatoma juice. Ah. Tasted like crap, didn't it? It... it wasn't that bad. Hey. What? Are you afraid of demons? No, I, I am not. It's more like I despise them. My dad was killed by a demon. And so was my mom. Ten years ago. Yep, here we a go. A group of them attacked my village. They destroyed everything. And everyone. Including your family? Yes. Especially my family. The only family I had at that point was my mother. They and killed them the three chaos, times. She... All I have left of her is this hand mirror she gave me. I didn't want anyone else to have to feel the way I did. And so I became an exorcist in order to destroy demons. So you can keep your pity. Gotcha. I will then. <laughs> But yeah, she's like, maybe they're not such good guys. And then eventually, character development's going to have her come to our side and help us beat the final bad guy. That's that's what's going to happen. I'm calling it now. What is that? That's called a penguin. No, no, no a that's a penguin. Native to this area. With a fin. And he's blue. Pengyon. Their meat is succulent and tender, and makes a lovely stew. I'm sure he'd love to hear that. Wow, what's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. You're one to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit-chat. Magilu. What's this grimoire friend of yours like? Hmm. Well, how do I put 
put it. <sighs> oh. No? You know, like that. Like what? <laughs> uh, well, to put it in a way those of meager imagination can understand, Grimm's got a sort of listless aristocratic air about her. A noble woman in her twilight, you could say. Huh. So you mean, like, a woman, but different from Velvet oh. and Eleanor. Oh, we're gonna have an argument right now. <laughs> You're not wrong there. I tell you what, just keep an eye out for a grown woman. A uh, grown woman. Okay, I got it. Well, since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. Look at these angry glares, <laughs> Velvet and <laughs> Eleanor What's giving that, to everyone. Moggy Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time ago, mine broke. Bagal! Chaploom! Bye bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. And by question, I mean eat them. Savagely. I like this music. Uh, another cat. Yeah, same games. Okay. That's fine. Alright, well, let me send out the expedition one more time. This recipe looks real tasty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> tasty recipes. Scout ship setting sail. Alright, let's we'll take a look at treasures as well. I think we got a new one. I think this a one's a new stone. one. I should try cutting it. Crystal expelled from the volcano in Soma Island. When touch the minerals color and hardness ra radically changes. Why do you think it's a good idea? Don't you want to see if it can be cut open? No, I think that's just you, Rokuro. It's a pretty stone as it is. Yeah, but the cross section might be prettier. Well, maybe, but whenever I see something hard, an urge to cut it apart overwhelms me. Rocks, metal, hard headed old men, whatever. Please don't cut any old men. Is this a new one? Well, not the, was this a new one too? More odd junk, huh? I think we've read this one already. But feel free to stop and take a look. Hmm. Anyway, that is where we'll stop it today, though. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Hopefully, schedule should return to normal schedule as of soon. Just it's been a it's been a busy couple of days for me in particular. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye.